Mic check, mic check. What's kicking, family? I'm glad you've clicked in so I can check in with you. This is Mr. Batch, and what's going on, family? What I want to kick it about today is a very serious matter. I went and picked up my newspaper today, and what did I see? You know, besides the headlines, I normally like to go to the sports section and, you know, and, and, and look at my team, see how it's going, see what's going to go on. But this one is particularly troubling to me. Over the last two weeks here in New York City, a young lady was hospitalized by a shooting in front of her building, and it was a baby gunman. Just this morning, I pick up the, uh, the newspaper, and the team was shot 11 times. What's going on here? The first, the first one with the young lady getting shot by that, the baby face thug. Have you seen the pictures of this kid, uh, you know, doing the perp walk after they had catch him? He's a baby. What's going on here? I read an editorial in today's paper uh, talking about their situation, and they alluded to the fact, they brought up the fact that the mom was crying, she was upset, and that she alluded to the fact that she's mad at the relatives for bringing her son up in like a thug mentality, giving him that head, the, the male counterparts, uh, I guess, had the influence on this young man. Let's, let's, let's grab that there right there real quick. What are you mamas doing? I mean, you mamas, you know, that's your kid, you know, don't do this to the child, don't do that to the child. In some cases, I'm not condemning all. I'm just talking about this particular situation. You mamas got to look out for it. Where's the boy's daddy? I didn't see anything in here about the child's dad. Where's his father? The man, the young man needs a father figure in his life. It's too late now. Too late now. You should see the look on the kid's face, man. He's like, he's got that deer stuck in headlights. And I'm, I'm feeling for these kids these days, man. I'm feeling for today's youth. I mean, you don't love yourself that you figure you can, you know, run around and just uh, flat out blast somebody you can't even hit the target. Have you any idea what a pistol range is? shooting at a target is, what is the proper uh, loading and handling of a handgun, no, you come out here and you figure it's just like some, some Wild Wild West B-movie, you know, you can go out there and like, yeah, 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 and take that, come on now, guns don't kill people, it's the people that kill people, a gun can't just arbitrarily walk up off the shelf and just hop along and then just shoot somebody, somebody has to pull that trigger, now, being that he pulled that trigger, he's gone, it's gone. The kid is gone. My question is out there is um, hit me up with a response or uh, send in a video response or uh, send me some information or a link to organizations that are trying to help these youth. Uh, I think he's lost. He, he's been lost for a while. And for the mama to be upset with other family members, what happened to the positive men that were in your life? Did you ever give them a chance for your son to at least, you know, listen to this guy? And you know what? Besides the mamas, let me hear from teenagers, 15, 16 years old, 17 years old. What is your head? What is your mentality? What would drive you? What would drive a youth, 15, 16, 17, to be running around armed, ready to shoot somebody. What's going on? There's no work, lack of education, uh, no prospects, uh, education. What is it? I'd like to hear from the youth also. I See, I want to hear both sides of the coin. Definitely, I want to hear from the mamas who are the single parents of these kids who are now, you know, not all of them now. Don't get me wrong. This is I'm talking about a, a, a small population that is out here okay let's not get it twisted and let's get it right the youth are seem to be lost they're angry at something what is it now another thing that I had alluded to when I opened up this piece was that a teen was shot 11 times it says here he was shot uh, cops blasted 14 shots and killed a Queens teenager uh, they said pointed a gun at them yo this kid pointed a gun they, they claim he pointed a gun so if that's the case you know this whole thing had to be you know kids scattering they running and it said that it's reported these are early reports now I'm just reacting to the fact that the young man died the circumstances around him that died will come out later but the thing is he didn't have to die a young man like that what was not done they said he was caring he was a nice kid all the accolades and accolades but 
there was a gun involved. So how did that get into the equation? You know, uh, a lot of times when instances like this come out, news reports will come out real quick as to his previous uh, run-ins with the law. And you know, and that's kind of that's kind of a raw deal, if you ask me. If you're under the age of 16, and a lot of times they they like to seal your records when it comes to court cases and stuff like that, that cannot be used against the person. But once you're dead, all bets are off. So my question is, why did this young man have to meet a tragic end? Why did he have to allege run from the cops when they seen them gathering? What's going on here? Another senseless. Another senseless killing of a young man, which didn't have to be. So, I'd like to see a video response uh, concerning the youth and these reckless ways of disregard and no love for themselves because they're ready to pull the trigger on somebody else or make a last stand like, you know, they've got nothing to live for. So, hit me up, send me a link or something like that. This is Mr. Batch. Stay blessed. I'm out of here like I stole something.